So yes, welcome to this off-roading video of the new Sangyong Corando. Now this is a new feature I wanna do for Auto Bears for 2020. Essentially, if I have a car that's got a little bit of off-road capability, four x four drivetrain, etc., I wanna take it down this particular track that we've got in Milton Keynes and just see how the car handles. So I've got the Sangyong Corando. It's got a 1.6 liter turbocharged diesel engine, producing 134 brake horsepower and 324 newton meters of of torque now that is put through a all-wheel drive system and i've also got a six-speed automatic gearbox now also in more importantly i have got some drive modes available i've got normal sport there's a winter one which kind of helps kind of keep the power evenly distributed if you're doing slow speed but i've also got a locking system where i can actually lock it so that the power delivery is evenly distributed to all four wheels and i do believe there's a little bit of bias to the rear axle which is always going to be a good thing so yeah enough of the talk if you do want to watch the main review of the corando of course click up in the top right hand corner or click on the link at the end of the video but now i think it's time to just get moving in this corando now all week it has been very wet and rainy and miserable and yet today the day i'm actually looking to take the uh, corando off-road we are graced with blue skies and sunshine so it's hopefully is still a bit wet and muddy and we'll get to see what this corando is like so i'm going to set it to lock which is basically on the little driver mode dial you just turn it to the left you get a little symbol that comes up and that's essentially everything sorted if you go over 40 kilometers an hour i do believe it disengages but for slow speed driving and going off-roading particularly it should come in very handy so let's go for a drive and um see what it's like so a couple of key things to point out we have got an approach angle of around 18 degrees and a departure angle of 24 degrees on the corando so it's not exactly kind of a Range Rover in that respect, but it should definitely help you if you do need to do any kind of off-roading or soft-roading like what I've got here. Now the tires, I believe on this, are road tires. So they're not gonna have loads of grip, but really, I mean, if you have a little look on the clip here, you can see a transit van going up this lane. So it's more than capable of doing it. Now, of course, <laughs> with this, with. With this Pioneer, I have got front and rear parking sensors, and I'm just gonna deactivate them. What we'll do, we'll go through the muddy bit. But so far, everything's absolutely fine. In the Corando. Now I have got the gearbox set to auto mode, so it will go through the gears as needed. I don't think there's any need for me to go into uh, manual mode for it. So no complaints ugh, whatsoever about this Corando going off-road. It's actually dealing with it incredibly well. I will put the ground clearance at the bottom of the screen for you. And as you know, unless you're not aware, the Corando has got a bit of heritage with it in terms of being a bit of a an off-roader, a bit of a rural type of car living out in the country. And it is ideally suited for environments like this. I don't think you'll see many people doing the school run in the Corando. But if you live out in the country, it will definitely come in handy. And it just came in handy really, really well there. I didn't realize how deep that water was, but it just went straight through and dealt with it no problem. So just to, in case 
you start getting bored. I am going to have facts and figures and stuff about Sang Yong going across the bottom of the screen just to kind of keep you entertained. But this is dealing with this incredibly well. It's nice and easy. No real stress. Got a bit more water coming up here. And again, has dealt with it incredibly well. Got some junts here in the Defender. Let them enjoy themselves, as we are in this as well. So I think it's only fair I do like a little silent video of me going back down the hill because it could be a little bit different in terms of the experience of, uh, of driving the Corando. So I've got everything all set there. I've also got hill descent control if I need it. Don't think I will. Now, one thing I mentioned in the main review of the Corando actually is how light the steering is. So it is really quite effortless to move the Corando at slow speed. It just... Yeah, it deals with these puddles really well, really easily. So once again, we have got the Land Rover Defender coming down to greet us, or coming up, shall I say. What I'll do as he comes up. The visibility is good in the Corando as well when doing this kind of driving. So we've got the big puddle. Really impressed. With the Korea, uh, Coriando? Corando. And the seats are nice and comfy as well. That's another highlight. I know they said they did kind of feel a little bit pinchy, but you know what? They're holding me in place. as I drive along this track. There you go, it's doing mightily fine. Also, those 17 inch alloy wheels, I definitely, I think, proven an advantage on this Pioneer. In terms of not scuffing the alloys, but also just for that little bit of extra traction with the tires. So we're coming up now to the end. This is now officially the end of the track and the video. So guys, Thank you very much. I'm going to do my usual spiel as I do at the end of every video. Please hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notifications icon to let you know when I bring out a new video. And I'm also on Facebook or Instagram and Twitter. So please follow on there as well for additional content.
But there you are guys, that is everything all now done and dusted with this off-roading video of the new Sangyong Corando. It's actually done very well, it's a very capable car. And yes, you got that indicator click to deal with. But anyway, yes, please, you know, like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon. If you've got any comments or questions about the Corando and its off-roading capabilities, please put them down in the comment section below. But as I finish up here, you're gonna see the uh, link to the main review of the Corando pop up. So guys, please, you know, enjoy that review as well. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all in the next video, whether it be on the road or off-road. Take care.